Keith's email here. Hi, Keith. Hey, okay. Keith. Hey there, bud. Uh, this is a question about uh, difficulty in games, and uh, specifically, I think Danielle mentioned uh, difficulty fetishism. You know what I'm talking about here? Setting that, oh, yeah. getting that hard game on, making that game hard. Oh, your souls as if we would have, but you. making it even harder. Uh, Keith says, "I'm gonna just go to the meat of this." I haven't noticed any of the Giant Bomb staff talk about uh, their feelings on this uh, uh, difficulty in games. Um, I'm wondering if you think your role as a games critic affects this. He's essentially saying that, like, enjoying really He likes a, a hard game. Hard he likes game. a difficult game. Yeah, he said, I think uh, earlier on, he says he modded Witcher 3 to make it harder. Uh, and uh, Fallout 3 as well, one to make it harder. Does the fact that you're expected to plow through games in short order somehow somewhat precludes upping the difficulty to a point where you may need to replay sections more than once. I think that if you are going to criticize a game, you should at least try it uh, in its hardest state, if not play the whole game. I certainly do not play entire games on their hardest setting when I'm reviewing. Usually it's on normal. Do you personally enjoy that? level of kind of uh, accomplishment in beating those hard difficulties in and so, games? so this is this is where it also becomes rather personal because for me no okay uh i have never enjoyed uh masochistic difficulty in games uh you know in rare instances i am willing to power past it like the original ninja gaiden remake like that that game was hard as shit but i was willing to keep playing it because it was so fun mm. and so at that time you know it was just so fucking slick looking that i was just like willing to kind of put up with the shit that i found unfair or hard right well this this also I, I think like as always i kind of want to blow this question up a little bit in the sense that like what do we mean when we talk about difficulty um because there are lots of ways that we talk about difficulty but we often just say like, oh yeah that game is really hard uh and i think that like the difference between a kaizo mario game and bloodborne and uh you know fall new kaizo, oh, mario, kaizo game. mario is like one of those like really mean uh, Mario, like pre Mario Maker, yeah, fan made Mario with a cat, right? That's there. Some of those do have cat Mario. Okay, yeah. oh, okay. It's like the ones that are like designed to fuck you over, okay. right? Yeah, yeah. The mean. versus the like mean exactly. Um, there are like a huge range of things that we talk about in terms of difficulty, and I enjoy some some of those games being very difficult, and others I don't. Uh, you know, I played Fallout New Vegas in the most difficult mode because like I was like into that weird bit of role playing where it was like, oh, I want every ammo bullet to have a weight i want to have to drink water in this game that was like a one style of play i like invisible ink on hard mode because it it pushes me to think about all the different variations on on you know uh, what the tactics i can use are but when it comes to like there are sometimes like a game on hard mode is just like oh i need to i take more damage than enemies do and that's not the same thing as invisible invisible ink on hard mode or a, an rts with the ai turned way up those are different sorts of difficulties. Sure. Right. There's a difference between tuning a game in such a way that it is more challenging for the player versus just making the AI cheat more or right, that, the, that kind of stuff. But the end result is usually the same. It's usually, I don't think it is. Well, I'm Not saying, always. But I'm saying like when I think about it, it usually means it Time. like impedes pro, uh, progression. Or, or it, it depends on what you mean by impedes. Meaning it makes it harder to get to move along in the game. Yeah, but makes it more difficult. I I agree with both of you. Yeah. I, I think I think Austin, to your point, it's as varied as gameplay in games. Exactly. Right? Totally. For totally. for every right. different gameplay mechanic, there's a different style of difficulty. But essentially, right. but what it's, it's doing is yeah. it's just putting up more gates. Right. Sure. So even if it's sure. invisible, not to ink, oversimplify right. it. No, 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 but, no, no. But but I guess that for me, it's like I it, I get it, it really does depend on what the game is. Like if I'm yeah. playing Civ Five on a harder difficulty. It's impeding not progress through a game. It's impeding my my attempt to to reach a, a win state. But I can still play through a complete experience of Civilization Five. You could get wiped out though. Totally, but like or that like for me that's resources. but for me that's a complete experience of Civ Five. That's a complete Civ Five and, game. And for, whereas in Ninja Gaiden, if I can't get through a room, that's a different sort of difficulty. Yeah, it's a pretty you know open I mean? interpretation. Like I think yeah, that's I, like I would consider the win condition in Civ Five to be like it, like putting up a barrier to that as as you know upping the difficulty. But Civ Five is also a game that right. basically just gives its AI advantages to make it more difficult. Like I yeah. I've played a thousand something hours of that game, uh, if Steam is to be believed, and I mostly play on the above one above normal difficulty because anything beyond that just feels cheap and shitty. Right. 
Oh, okay. So in other words, Fair. here's an example where you do like to turn up the difficulty a little bit. Just a little bit, but I've also, but that was after, you know, hours and hours of playing through it on like kind of the normal level and just saying like, okay, well, I've done everything this AI is capable of doing, <laughs> so I'm moving up a notch. This but like, a- I also, I don't, I don't revel in playing those uh, much more upper tier difficulties because they just feel cheap and shitty. This is a real thing in strategy games, especially where if you talk to people who who play a lot of strategy games, they cleanly divide strat games into games with where the increase in difficulty is just flat bonuses being given to to the AI. In other words, the AI cheating versus uh, the AI being able to better make smart decisions. It seems pretty rare, actually, for strategy games and 4X games and RTSs where the AI actually knows how to play the game. Well, well, at least. There were, there exactly. Were, I feel like there's more than one thing I've either heard or or read where the difficulty isn't even that. It's making the AI play intelligently as a human would. Because if right. you just put the AI in like, I'm a computer, fuck this, That's I know how to win. That's super good at like shooters. And it's like instance. no fun. Right. But, but in some cases, you can also see the AI like in Civ, and actually this is in Beyond Earth 2, You'll see civs like plant cities down in areas that don't seem particularly interesting. Then you'll find out there's a bunch of <laughs> hidden resources there you don't get until later in the game. They, like the AI obviously knows that shit is there, yeah, whereas you the don't. Cheating. And that's the kind of shit yeah. that they do. In sports, yeah. it's weird too. Like sports games, it's a whole nother beast. Oh man, because there's no real progression or anything like right. that in a sports game. It's more just like I can't, I can't win. Like at a certain like point, losing Madden, a match is still progression. Yeah. Or losing right. a, a yeah. game, but at a certain sure. point, Madden, you turn the difficulty up to like all all Madden or whatever, and it's just like they're just picking you off left and right yeah. because if you don't you don't hit that that narrow one second window mm-hmm. that a real right. quarterback can hit, you're fucked. Right. Or like back when I was still playing Madden, every year I would go online and find what the what the hot sliders were for that year, where it's like. Mm-hmm. Madden is so is so uh, configurable. Configurable, exactly. We're like, I, I can change what the penalty rate is for this thing. I can, I yep. can change oh, how realistic the catch physics, not the catch physics, but how likely my my receiver is to make yeah. an right. unrealistic yeah, catch stuff, yeah. on a zero to one hundred slider. So I I think as critics, many of us do engage with this stuff. It's just that we tend to engage with it in a way that is like. Not just – it's tough because you do have to say, okay, what's the average player going to do? Are they going to play on this basic difficulty? What am I getting out of this? If I really like a game, I will like, – like Alex said, like I want to get more out of it, so I'll turn up the difficulty a little bit. But I don't think we avoid it. I think this ha- this happens with uh, Halo a lot now yeah. where it's like this is the way Halo is meant to be played. Nobody plays on normal. And it's <laughs> like, well, you're calling it normal or you're ca- calling it the whatever – uh, and I think a lot of people that have played the Halo franchise knows you kind of bump it up a little bit, mm-hmm. heroic or whatever uh, – I think critics are aware for that, the most part. But they are, but they are. Also, I think critics are reluctant to impose, you know, criticisms on that stuff because right. how everyone plays and approaches these games and what they get out of it is widely varied. And you know, for my part, if I think a game is unfairly hard, right. I will cut that or, or, or way too easy, even yeah. on like a higher difficulty. I will point that out. But it's not my place to say. Well, I think all games that are hard are bad. Yeah. So exactly. I mean, I think this game is bad because of that. Because that's just not that's just not the way. And there are as many critics as there are people. So yes. like, that's going to vary. But for 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 like when I review something, I'm I, I usually keep it at the the, the way, default. The default. Yeah, I try. I play through the game on default. I try the other levels just to see what they're like, you know. And if I find one that I really like, maybe I play further in with yeah. it just to see if that's like should I recommend people play it on this level? I wish there were more configurable options for difficulty in games in general. Where like it, it's you think about something like The Witcher, where um, there are so many ways in which that game can impede you or, or can can present obstacles to you, and so many tools for you to do it to get over that that stuff. And I would love it if there was a way to be like, okay, I want to play the game The Witcher where I can where I can't just remake my potions out of this one base thing. I want to play it as the hardest possible way where I have to go out and get every herb I need to make it. Or I want the potions to just always like Estus flasks refill for free and cost me nothing. I wish I could like really get in there. Or you, you want to split the difference. You know, I want to have to use potions on all these wraiths or whatever, but I also don't have to worry about inventory anymore. I can just sure. carry everything totally. and that's fine. Totally. You, you want the graphic options to look like yeah. the difficulty options. Yeah. That'd be really cool. I mean, we should, you would think that would be something that, that, that developers would be starting to gear more to because you know it, it, yes we're using these new systems and, and new technology to create ever prettier games but like why not like make the games themselves like a little bit more modifiable beyond mm-hmm. what is this resolution yeah I, I, a lot of that stuff just winds up being on pc mods right cheat, like engine. Yeah, cheat yeah. engine and uh, some games do it but usually it's like uh you'll see a lot of that stuff in a re-release of a game right where, like where it's like oh yeah right. here's the thing that we, i know people complained about so we turn the hud off or we you know, we do this other thing. I, the XCOM reason- had some really good stuff with that, actually. With the when they released a big patch for it, I think it was around the same time that Enemy Within came out, where it was like one of the things that we know is that everyone thinks that they have the best solution 
for character classes. So, so there's a thing you can check that randomizes what the character upgrades will be. Mm-hmm. That way, you're not all of your snipers don't look the same. Right. And I, I love yeah, that. That's pretty cool. The uh, the reason that I want to talk about this is uh, specifically The Witcher. Mm-hmm. I've been putting a lot of time into it, and I refuse to bump the difficulty down. It's, I think, one down from the hardest one because I think there are four difficulties. In there there. Are, I think I'm yeah. Gonna, I think I'm on the and third the third one. one is the one that everyone kind of recommends. So that's yeah. one. I, and I, I refuse to, uh, even if I'm uh, having a tough time with it, because I do feel like for me, that's how I want to role play that Witcher. Right. Like, totally. I want him to have some of a tough time. I want him to have to dance around with his sword and not just like smash on air. And actually be prepared. Yeah, and actually have to be prepared. Uh, it's a weird thing where I'm. I'm taking the difficulty of the game into a role-playing narrative yeah. sense to, to kind of make it. And I think I would be more down to do that in that game if I felt like the systems they had built for doing that were more accessible <laughs> to an idiot like me versus someone who is more seasoned in this yeah. style of game. Because for me, it's just it, it's a barrier I can't get past. Oh, man, I wish my health came back when I meditated. That would, that no, would who in, doesn't? in general. Oh, yeah, that thing is real important <laughs> health and meditation yes health and meditation are so important and your soul meter <laughs> my soul meter yeah <laughs> let's get into some uh little quick-